I do want to get your opinion on this one. Florida State finishes the season two and ten. That is the second worst game drop off from the prior year in the AP poll era, which I believe is 1936 ish. It is that bad. The big story coming into yesterday, Gus Malzahn resigns at UCF to announce that he's going to become the offensive coordinator at Florida State. Your thoughts on that one? Here's a guy who uh, played for a national championship 11 years ago as the head coach against two, Florida State. He was the Auburn head coach. He was the offensive coordinator when they won the title with Cam Newton. I think he looked at it and said, you know what, we went four and eight. I'm going to get fired next year. Um, I've got years left of my career without the pressure. He's made a lot of money. Remember, he got about a $19 million yep. payoff from Auburn. And why deal with it? Uh, and, you know, maybe in the back of his mind, is he thinking, I go there and do a good job and they fire Norvell and move me out? I mean, I don't know. I don't think so. I think Gus Malzahn is the head coach. But it's just – it. He, he took a look at what Chip Kelly did and said, that guy's got a better lifestyle right now. He's got all the money he needs. I'm going to do the same thing. Oops, and then Ohio State loses. Maybe being the offensive coordinator of a team that they're going to ID and be like, hey, you're going to take over for the head coach when we fire him. It's not the best idea. But I said this yesterday. You know, sometimes we'll give ourselves credit for something we say early in the day. I would like to read you this, Paul, in closing as we get ready uh, to head to championship weekend and go to various parts of our country. My my uh, my tweet on the Twitter before the day started, I said, happy college football regular season finale Saturday. Here are my bullet points. One, the overtime rules are awful. That was from Georgia, Georgia Tech, because it's true. Two, see above. Three, there will be chaos. Four, something unexpected will happen today, the Malzahn thing, leading to something unexpected happening tomorrow, which is now today. I did this at 7.38 a.m., I still believe by the time we get to next week, something unexpected will happen in the world in college football that we don't see coming. Nick Saban's returning. Anyway, um, you're right, (laughs) Matt. uh, uh, I I, I am breathless here. It's early Sunday morning. Um, Don't even know how to characterize what we've seen because – uh, there's still more to come. I mean, I know that sounds like I'm reading a local TV uh, upcoming promo, but uh, it, it has just been that crazy. Let me let me local TV this promo for you because when it happens, we are on your side. You are speechless. <laughs> I am sleepless. It's how we do it here on the Matt Berry Show presented by Allstate. Hey! 